Hi, I'm Cassie, and I would like to begin by sending blessings to everyone on the planet. In this video, I would like to talk about Alistair Crowley. Alistair Crowley, born Edward Alexandra Crowley on the 12th of October 1875 and departing on the 1st of December 1947, was an English occultist, ceremonial magician, poet, painter, novelist and mountaineer. He founded the religion of Philema, identifying himself as the prophet entrusted with guiding humanity in the early 20th century. A prolific writer, he published widely over the course of his life. Born to a wealthy Plymouth Brethren family in Royal Leamington Spa, Warwickshire, Crowley rejected this fundamentalist Christian faith to pursue an interest in Western esotericism. He was educated at the University of Cambridge where he focused his attentions on mountaineering and poetry, resulting in several publications. Some biographers allege that while at Cambridge, Crowley was recruited into a British intelligence agency, further suggesting he remained a spy throughout his life. In 1898, he joined the esoteric Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, where he was trained in ceremonial magic by Samuel Liddell, McGregor Mathers and Alan Bennett. Moving to Bulliskine House by Loch Ness in Scotland, Crowley went mountaineering in Mexico with Oscar Eckenstein before studying Hindu and Buddhist practices in India. He married Rose Kelly in 1904 and they honeymooned in Cairo, Egypt, where Crowley claimed to have been contacted by a supernatural entity. After an unsuccessful attempt to climb Kachin Junga and a visit to India and China, Crowley returned to the Britain area where he att attracted um, attention as a prolific author of poetry, novels and occult literature. In 1907, Crowley and George Cecil Jones co-founded a Thelemite order through which they propagated the religion after spending time in Algeria in 1912, Crowley was initiated into another esoteric order, the German-based Ordo Templi Orionti, rising to become the leader of the British branch, which he reformulated in accordance with his Thelemite beliefs. Through the Ordo Templi Orionti, uh, Thelemite groups were established in Britain, Australia and North America. Crowley spent the First World War in the United States where he took up painting and campaigned for the German war effort against Britain, later revealing that he had infiltrated the pro-German movement to assist the British intelligence services. In 1920, Crowley established the Abbey of Thelema, a religious commune in Sicily where he lived with various followers. His libertine lifestyle led to denunciations in the British press and the Italian government evicted him in 1923. And so Crowley divided the following two decades between France, Germany and England and continued to promote Thelema until his death. Crowley gained widespread notoriety during his lifetime being a recreational drug experimenter, bisexual and an individualist social critic. He was denounced in the popular press as the wickedest man in the world and a Satanist. Crowley has remained a highly influential figure over Western esotericism and the counterculture and continues to be considered a, a prophet in Thelema. In 2002, a BBC poll ranked him as the 73rd greatest Britain of all time. Alistair Crowley is a key figure in the cooperating with the negative alien agenda starting from grey alien contact made in Cairo, Egypt in April 1904. They scribed and implanted Crowley with the Book of the Law, which is the central text of Philema, written down from dictation mostly by Alistair Crowley. Although his wife, Rose Edith Crowley, and the entities themselves are known to have written phrases into the manuscript of the book after its dictation. This contact began a lifelong series of interactions and collaboration with the negative aliens to bring into physically manifested 
satanic forces of the Black Sun program under the guise of representing themselves as holy guardian angels. They collaborated with Crowley and sent him to various key locations of the Earth's power vortexes to open closed portals and to assist in their patriarchal domination, hijack of power grids of the Earth. The negative alien's agenda is to force the planet to serve another multiple species controller agenda. And they do this through imposing false replicated time fields using bio warfare technologies such as holographic inserts and artificial intelligence and mind control, namely created under genetically reptilian based archons, extraterrestrials at the expense and life force of the human race and the kingdoms under human domain. And much of this negative alien agenda is veiled in the shadow levels of the extraterrestrial and human military industrial complex. And primarily the takeover source is in the naval forces and underground bases on Earth. The hijacking of these power grids enabled the negative alien agendas um, some form of entry into the earth through black magic grids, through the consent and cooperation of a human body named Crowley himself. Alistair Crowley was a negative extraterrestrial contactee and abductee, and Crowley was the alien contactee that served the Armageddon software timelines and was manipulated to enforce the black magician archetype for satanic forces to increase satanic ritual abuse here on Earth. The Armageddon software, mind control programs such as war, terrorism, pestilence and cataclysm fears and many other fear programs which can be interchanged as they are similar bio warfare mind control programs used on Earth to um, suppress and control human consciousness by propagating artificially generated false timelines and this is a psycho-spiritual warfare strategy used against humanity by the negative aliens. And this is to repeatedly enslave, torture and kill humans through religious violence and military control through terrorism, war and population control. Crowley's archetype is a synonymous with the black magician as his massive negative ego and sexual misery programming was exploited from his previous incarnation as a solar templar lord in Atlantis. He was given the path to learn the tunnels of Typhon, which is the reverse Sephiroth path or the black tree of life. The Typhonian order is a self initiatory magical order based in the United Kingdom. The Typhonian order focuses on um, magical and Typhonian concepts. It was originally led by British occultist Kenneth Grant and his partner Steffi Grant and is now believed to be led by their deputy Michael Staley. The Typhonian tradition is sometimes defined as the current that flows through the cosmology of the order which was established and made famous by Alistair Crowley. Typhon was a god in Greek mythology who when appearing before other gods was so ugly that he changed into a fire eating monster. He waged a terrible war and was eventually killed by one of Zeus's thunderbolts. And so Tythonian is synonymous with fire and force and also means the opposer. Typhon's Egyptian counterpart is Set or, or Seth. Many witches find it necessary to study Crowley's material and plug themselves into the magic current of Crowley's demon spirit guide, a mysterious being named Iwas. Iwas is another name for Set, an Egyptian god, and sodomy is especially sacred to Set. It opens what are called the Typhonian tunnels, channels through which extremely powerful demons um, can travel from the alternate reality and emerge into this universe and enter the sex partner's body Sex, especially lustful and disconnected sex, is a major way in which demonic oppression can be passed from one person to another. And according to Kenneth Grant, a leading exponent of this Typhonian tradition, an organization that was once headed by the one and only Alistair Crowley, this tradition is part of a current of magical force and occult lore 
dating back to Sumeria and pre-domestic Egypt, originally known as the Draconian tradition, Orion group, it is a magical current based on initiated knowledge or gnosis of the fire snake. The fire snake is also known as the Kundalini or the Ophidian current, the basis of all our true initiation. And so the negative aliens were interested in controlling the Middle East completely and used the area of original native alien invasion to manipulate Crowley into becoming their poster boy for activating their replicated creation code, the Baphomet and its feed lines into the many layers of the parasitic imposter spirit. Alistair Crowley grew to be more deviant in his later years as he got increasingly desperate as a child molester who experimented with satanic ritual abuse rituals. Therefore, he sodomized and sacrificed children and animals in his quest for immortality and gaining power over others. It is clear that Crowley was unable to discern the forces he was interacting with as his houses of ego and pain body was exploded into uncontrollable addictions and accumulating aberrant energies from his own impulses and base desires that these dark entities used to exploit and take complete control over him. And these are predator minds, the satanic forces of the imposter spirits and the negative aliens representing themselves as truth spirits when they are deceiving Crowley's ego personality mind in order to exploit him further for the negative alien agenda. Many people that are direct abductee exper experiences have um, reported differently appearing types of grey aliens in similar appearing bodies of different sizes for over the past hundred years. The greys have skin colours ranging from light grey to dark grey, dark bluish grey to steel grey and as well as skin tones in tan to brown. Um, despite their different skin tones, with the exception of their heights, their overall physiology is similar and they are normally categorised according to their height and observed hierarchical status relating to their behaviour and the tasks they are seen performing during their procedural processes that are carried out on the abductee experiences. Greys are telepathic and use mind-to-mind -mind melding techniques through strong thought projection made through the eyes to connect an optic nerve communications method and this is a form of mental telepathy and psychic power directed via thought is called um, psionics. Following the rise of Adolf Hitler who discovered the Typhonian society after he had been ordered to spy on them, um, Sir Boltendorf's newspaper was brought out by Dietrich Eckhardt, a Bavarian Catholic who um, had helped form the German Workers' Party. And it was Eckhardt who transcribed Mein Kampf. When they came to power, Hitler set up the SS, a secret order of a silver star, who went out initiating people into the esoteric mysteries. Eckhart himself was highly influenced by Eastern mysticism and was a follower of Aleister Crowley's movement. In fact, some researchers have been claiming that Aleister Crowley has influenced the um, Nazi occult movement to such a degree that it may have been through him that the secret brotherhood were working and thereby influencing Hitler and his motley crew. And so the Baphomet became an important figure within the cosmology of Thelema, the mystical system established by Aleister Crowley in the early 20th century. Baphomet features in the creed of the Gnostic Catholic Church recited by the congregation in the Gnostic Mass in the sentence, and I believe in the serpent and the lion, mystery of mystery in his name Baphomet. In Magic, Book 4, Crowley asserted that Baphomet was a divine androgyne and the hieroglyph of arcane perfection. The devil does not exist. It is a false name invented by the Black Brothers to imply unity in the ignorant muddle of dispersions. A devil who had unity would be a god. The devil is historically the god of any people that one personally dislikes. Crowley continues on to say, this serpent, Satan, is not the enemy of man, but he who made gods of our race, knowing good and evil. 
he bade know thyself and taught initiation. He is the devil of the book of Toph, Baphomet, the androgyne who is the hieroglyph of arcane perfection. He is therefore life and love, but moreover his letter is iron, the eye, so that he is light and his zodiacal image is Capricornus, that leaping goat who, whose um, attribute is liberty. For Crowley, Baphomet is further a representative of the spiritual nature of the spermatosa, while also being symbolic of the magical child produced as a result of sex magic. As such, Baphomet represents the um, union of opposites, especially as mystically personified in chaos and Babylon, combined and um, biologically manifested within the sperm and egg united in the zygote. Crowley proposed that Baphomet was derived from Father Mithras. In his Confessions, he describes that circumstances that led to this etymology. Crowley says, I had taken the name Baphomet as my motto. For six years and more, I had tried to discover the proper way to spell his name. I knew it must have eight letters, and also that numerical and literal correspondences must be such as to express the meaning of the name in such a way as to confirm what scholarship had found about it. So far, the wizard had shown great qualities. He had cleared up the etymological problem and shown why Templars should have given the name Baphomet to their so-called idol. The seducer archetype is very energetically profitable to siphon for a negative ego, controlled by sexual addiction and hooked into the mass consciousness sexual misery program and belief systems. When a human being is choosing to play out the game of the seducer, they are in unconscious consent to be energetically implanted to feed the Nephilim reversal grid network and spread um, its Nephilim reversal grid implants. Alistair Crowley's main form of mind control programming so that he would be hooked into the addiction webbing and completely controlled like a negative alien puppet was to exploit his seducer archetype into sexual misery. Addiction webbing in the application of a Nephilim reversal grid coded implant its mechanism acts like a tick or leech that burrows itself deeper into the lower areas of the astral body, mostly into the second chakra and into the instinctual response functions of the central nervous system. The sexual misery program is to intentionally reverse, distort, manipulate and abuse the sexual energies, therefore abuse the spiritual energies in human beings incarnated on this planet it was intended to create sexual predators and sexual deviants in the human race. And it is mostly people that have had addiction issues that are easily harvested in reversal networks for their sexual energy. And so these reversal networks collect life force from the collective field of all earth inhabitants, um, creating more black force and miasm in the planet by sending energetic currents into the reversal patterns and synthesizing them into artificially intelligent machinery on the planetary grid network. We can refer to that reversal pattern as an anti-life pattern. When collective life force is moving in the reversal patterns, it creates blockages that disconnect that person from the organic supply of external energy that is accessed within their own spiritual body. And instead, that life force energy is being collected and harvested for certain preferred groups on the earth, um, generally for those who keep the reversal networks running for the negative alien agenda. And so as the Albion body awakens, it starts to disrupt the function of the specific reversal network and it gradually collapses sections of the reversal grid's operational structure. The Albion body is the androgynous human template created from 12 spheres, not 10 spheres, as observed in this construct of the tree of life, which during the fall of humankind became buried in the lower dimensional fields of the earth, waiting to be awakened. And this elemental structure of the primordial human template is located in the earth body and is made from the original cosmic blueprint. And this original blueprint records the divine plan for humanity's ascension to the silicate matrix and 
holds the celestial records of humankind's evolution throughout the solar system. The awakening Albion um, occurs in progressive stages and recent star transmissions are intelligently designed to stimulate the higher mind activation throughout the Albion body in the Earth. And so this gently accelerates the shift in the mental body of the Earth to reflect the higher mind consciousness, which is reflected in the stages of the awakening Albion. And so again, back to Crowley, Crowley developed into a sexual deviant. He was not engaged in any form of sexual magic. Crowley was exploited as a sex and drug addict that predictably could be easily led by his alien handlers. The seducer method is very successful in controlling human beings into subservience to feed the predator mind agenda. It is often used to manipulate and control both men and women into addiction and soul fragmentation. Crowley's misconception was that Baphomet represented the union of opposites when it actually um, it was a deviant collective field that fed upon the hijack of human sexual energies through unholy unions and in this context unholy unions are the sexual act with forces of negative ego such as lust hate and selfishness whatever consciousness one has while in the um, sexual act one of love and kindness for their partner or its opposing force of hatred or lust is what is created by the combination of forces made in the gender sexual relations there were three key members based in the United Kingdom that laid the blueprint and were utilized and participated willingly in this painstakingly precise process of the Illuminati New World Order agenda, activating the Armageddon software. Alistair Crowley is the first in the sequence of the timeline and it was revealed he was an incarnated soul, a Templar Lord that was one of the abusers of the power from the Atlantean time cycle. Crowley was quite vengeful and spiteful, believing first personal will over the law and that he would indeed make his mark. It is interesting to note that Crowley despised and hated his mother, which is an easy recipe for satanic infiltration. Crowley was a master alchemist, manipulator, sexual deviant and blood ritualist, misogynist and was able to command the elemental forces in several kingdoms such as elemental and devic with um, negative alien support. He was cultivated and grown to become who he was responsible to be by the grey alien Zeta factions and these negative alien Zeta forces picked him as a point person on earth. The Zetas then went on to um, introduce themselves to the world governments specifically in the United Kingdom where Winston Churchill was being simultaneously groomed for power corruption exploitation in the United Kingdom's interest to serve the reptilian power base. The timeline sequence was um, Crowley meets Churchill who masterminds the World War II agenda to manipulate and mind control Hitler who then proceeds with his psychotic Atlantean Black League, the Sons of Belial and the Black Sun program agenda which planned mass genocide and begins to target the depopulation of the indigo, the host race for the human DNA evolution that has been occurring for tens of thousands of years. The Habaru races, otherwise known as the Hebrews. The Hebrews held a specific genetic Melchizedek code they wanted eliminated. The Greys always wanted to decimate the Hebrew population advancing the DNA through genetic evolution in the ascension cycle is the last thing they want to happen to those human beings they are attempting to imprison. The Melchizedeks are the genetic hosting race of the Earth's ascension cycle for the last 35,000 years. They were here to help the Earth heal and evolve out from lower dimensions for the phantom matrix and because we are coming to the close of a root race and cycle the tour of duty with Earth in this capacity is also ending and coming to a completion. Melchizedek's may be described as the sound tone translation of the vibrational pattern of the source family of collective cosmic consciousness within our universal time matrix. 
all humans are directly descended from this pattern and in truth are a Melchizedek. And so when the patriarchal Melchizedeks digressed out of um, energetic balance and joined the Anunnaki resistance in wars, they became the fallen Melchizedeks. And so the higher one has risen to the ranks in use of occult consciousness technology, the deeper and amplified is the fall down from grace and the corruption becomes extremely amplified. Alistair Crowley is a real example of that, a power hungry criminal mastermind who ultimately fragmented into the hell realms of insanity. The Tophian Anunnaki language, which was based on usurped Enochian language of the original creation God code, the Law of One, was given to Alistair Crowley at the turn of the century in order for him to be the human embodiment that was necessary to bring this black magic language into the physical realms which continued the Atlantean Brotherhood War and its Atlantean conspiracy um, in this reality system. And so Crowley was manipulated through his own massive ego of patriarchal superiority, greed, genetic elitism, ego maniacal selfishness and sexual deviance to install a vast circulatory system of ley lines of control for the negative alien Tuffian interests. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.